It's a new year. It's a new year. It's a new year. And we're still here. It's a new year. And we're still here. We have a huge haul like we did last year and you guys loved it. So of course we have to come back with our favourite black owned businesses of 2017. So we have so much. So make sure you first, before you even watch this video, get a cup of tea. It's going to be a little bit of a long one like last year. And we're going to start off with some books. I'm excited. Okay. First things first. No, well, this is not really a book, but it's what a, is it then? Oh. a zine. Okay. okay. A zine. Magazine. Yeah. Magazine. Um, so obviously last year we had all of those kind of shenanigans with the magazines, like uh, editing black women and cutting off their oh. hair and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So we decided to write a little blog post on black owned publications, that's magazines that are existing in the UK and elsewhere. The first one we have here is Round Table. I love how this looks. This is a gorgeous publication and it needs to be more known, I think. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful publication, beautiful imagery in here. It's basically a journal of art, self and womanism. But it's just got beautiful images of women of colour, black women. Oh, I've got that top. Snap. <laughs> and articles. I just relate to. I relate guess, to everything just... about from art yeah. to black Twitter. All in here. So the round table, we'll put all, all the links um, in the description box below as last year. But yeah, you can find that one there. So the next one we have is Typical Girls Magazine, another black British zine. Um, I love the imagery of this as well. This one caught my eye at Black Girl Fest, as nice. well as round table. I met the founders at Black Girl Fest. And this one just got beautiful imagery again. I think it's about uh, activists and, and the 1% refusing to uh, adhere to the norm, etc. So this is a beautiful piece, um, a beautiful magazine you can get um, as well. And I think this one is just the imagery in these, these black owned magazines is just on point. I don't know what these mainstream platforms are doing. Yeah, they're losing out. And then next we have Black Fly, um, which is more of an adult. Uh, zine. This is more about race and uh, sexual health. Oh right, I was like, yeah, no, not that. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, nah, nah. And it's quite oh, a small one. But yeah, but it's got poetry. It's even got a different language in there and stuff. So it's really interesting mm. as well. The next one we have is Yellow Zine, relatively new, um, black British publication. Um, and this is basically this first book issue is on illustration. So you've got illustrators of color in here. From, and some of this art is just I love the size like this is it's huge yeah it's really I nice like it. it's a really nice illustration in here um I didn't even see that the first this time. is really well done literally like, as you're just flicking oh child wow like uh, how much do they this must be a lot of money you got you guys got to support because this yeah, stuff this ain't is, cheap but this is what I'm trying to say that like, the magazines that, that is well cussing, put together you've got magazines like this well put together beautifully like illustrated, just, just look at this, the, the look of it looks yeah. dope. So that's another one. Wow. And obviously all the links, um, links will be in the description below. Obviously you see Jay's like the book person and the magazine person and likes reading and things. So. <laughs> so here, these are, this is not a new book. This is not a new book and I don't think these but are. But you bought them this year. Well, I got um, last year. Bought them this last year. 2017. Yeah. Okay. I bought these last year. This one I've had for years, but I only started reading last year. Okay. And obviously you know who Chimamanda is. Mm. She is the uh, African feminist, an author, speaker, um, and she's just, I really like this. So this is a handbook um, based on her speech, her TED talk, We Should All Be Fem Feminist. And this is um, a fem feminist, I keep saying it wrong, fem feminist manifesto of 15 suggestions. And this is a letter to her friend who was uh, raising her daughter um, and oh. she was asking, how do you raise your daughter feminist? And then this is um, Half of the Yellow Sun, very, very popular book, um, very, very well written. I love the story, I love the way it's written, and it's basically about the civil war in Nigeria um, during the 60s. Great authoress, I love her stuff, I love her viewpoint, the way she illustrates and um, elucidates things, so I nice. love Chimamanda. The last book that I have here that I've kind of semi-started reading is You Can Get It If You Really Want by Levi Roots. You can Roots. get it if you really want. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> by Levi Roots. If you don't know who Levi Roots is. Oh, come on, people. Nah, come on, people. you got to know. <laughs> he is um, basically a Jamaican man um, with an amazing backstory to his mm. life who went on Dragon's Den here in the UK and then got a deal for his reggae reggae sauce and then has now blown up. He has, uh, what's he have? Snacks, sauces, restaurant. he has a restaurant, he has 
drinks, all of this. He's become like uh, the mogul of Caribbean, um, specifically Jamaican ca Caribbean food. Um, so this is his, I guess, his autobiography book on how you should start your business, things you should be thinking about and ways that you should um, plan and stuff like that. So nice. this is just something I read from time to time. But um, it's helping me at the moment, so very, very good. Nice. And one, should we start with, um, this is such a gorgeous print that is by Nubian Rock Chick. So shout out to you, girl, who um, drew a little illustration with our book, King. It's right there. We'll have to give you a close up, but yeah. Because I think that is so beautiful. And then Jay put it in a nice frame and gifted it to me. Yay! That's a nice little print in my room. Yeah. I love that too. Um, also, this is also from Jay. Yeah, oh, damn, I am good, you know. I am good with the gift. That's a good friend. I am a good with That's the gift. Good I am good with the gift, mm. you know. <laughs> because then I got one of my favourite artists, graphic designers, uh, graphic designers? Yeah, yes, uh, graphic designers. Oh, yeah, graphic designers. Um, RX Man. He's literally one of my favourite, like, literally look him up on Instagram, whatever, his work. I love his work. I love, 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 and it's hanging up in my room. So that's one of my faves as well. And then I have this picture of me! Ta-da! <laughs> in a head wrap, of course, that's how we do. Um, and this is from... Burungi Design. Burungi Design. So, yeah, so we both got these, and this is Tree's one. I just think it looks just like Tree. It's like, lovely. literally, it's like, oh, it's like Tree, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Black British artist, and um, you can get a discount with her for by, um, if you have a jammy card. Yeah, so, um, so you get that. Yeah. So if you are looking for, you know, homeware, decor, all that kind of stuff, those are a few that we have mentioned. So, in terms of homeware, I have this pillow from Black British Business Cash Mankey. I bought it from when we did Our Naked Truths. Yeah. And she get also threw in a nice tea towel, but I love this pillow. It goes really nice with my black sofa. Yeah. Um, I just love the print. It's beautiful it and awesome. yeah, it was wasn't even that expensive I bought this so it was about 10 12 pounds but it's really nice so yeah and we love that too so next we have I've got this mug which says girl bath and we use this like in our hair phase obviously you know we just sipping that tea on the conversations and this is from Erica Styles and her business is step to style mm. um so this is one of my faves as well you know Back home, you know, everyone drinks tea, so why not? And why not stay what you are while she drinks tea? Well, sometimes you know. So, now this is gonna be my favorite section because we're both wearing the first person that we Ooh, got. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just a little. So, just starting off with jewelry wait. and accessories, we're kicking off one of our favorite businesses of this year. Nirvana Wild. Mm -hmm. You must have seen us wear this now. Like I literally wear this necklace, this one. Yes, like, all the time. Yeah, all the time. And I always get so many compliments. It's a, she does so, amazing, beautiful, simple pieces with crystals. Um, it's gorgeous. American black owned business. Uh, I've got her ring on. I just You've seen it when we went We're to just Tobago. Like, I know. <laughs> just beautiful stuff. Um, so yeah, check out us on social media. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a picture in here. But you definitely... We've worn this quite a few times. Yeah, especially if you're into crystals, this yeah. is the brand for you. Yeah, your one's really nice, actually. I even like the colour. Yeah, bloodstone. I love it. <laughs> Some evil smile. <laughs> oh, let me see that one. This is also So fun. you bought this separately? Yeah, I bought this separately, but she gifted us this, and it fastens that way, like that as well. Um, so yeah, beautiful pieces from Nirvana World. She's yeah. been one of my favourite jewellery providers of this year. So next is my favourite watch, because it's the only watch I wear. Um, and that's Vitae London. So shout out to Will, because I love everything about the brand, what it stands for, their mm. ethos, um, and just what they're doing and how they're contributing as well. So I just love these watches. I think we pointed them out in our video last year and now we've got the new watches, yes. which is the midnight. So they have number. obviously a variety. This is the one we had last year. Mm. Um, and now we've got the black one. So that's super dope. Amazing. Definitely, definitely a good brand. To love it. So, yeah. Um, so speaking of necklaces and chokers, this is this melanin. You have to have seen us in this melanin. And this was from I Noir. And we worked with I Noir and we had outfits um, that we wore in Tobago mm. as well. That I know y'all have seen because they were fire. Woo! Those pictures um, were fire. <laughs> <laughs> but so shout out to them and get yourself one of these chokers because they're not expensive at all. Literally. And it just looks banging. So we got um, chokers from Helicus. You must have seen this on social media as well. 
Um, I really like this one. It's a, it's a red choker. I don't have any red chokers, mm. so it's something that's nice. Mine was black, but I like the simple thing. Yeah, it's simplistic, but it's unique with this mm. little thing here. It's cute. Which I really enjoy. Um, so yeah, this is a British black owned business also. Nice piece of jewellery. And I have these cute um, earrings from Pieces by Kiki, which we've mentioned pieces by kiki before for sure yeah she's our girl um pieces by kiki these are i love these like earrings and these are vintage cute. like door knocker nice she's bringing them back into styles so i'm like yes kiki and these are definitely one of my favorites so we obviously have to give her a shout out next accessory that we have are these clutch bags from ophio which is a british black owned business yo okay <laughs> okay be let's bags. just not let's just not come right? on now no look how gorgeous they are they're just and when we got this we were like wow. i was like really thank you seriously so like this is banging no like, wow come i just on. love it and you can also get a discount from them via jammy if you have a jammy card so yeah check them out but yes i love this clutch bag too so next we have these bags um from High Spirit, we took them to Tobago, Tobago and, and we then took them to Kenya. Kenya. I was like, where's the other place we went? Kenya, Kenya, Kenya yeah. So black owned, and I love this one because this black one in particular, mm. it has um, a little slot that you can put your laptop bag in. Yes. They're theft, what do you call Anti it? Anti-theft. Anti-theft. <laughs> because it's always only accessible by the back, the back. Which is dope. Yeah, I love it. And the skin, the, what do you call it? Dragon, Dragon skin. skin. <laughs> My favourite. So these bags I love it. are freaking dope, dope, dope. Lovely. As you can see, there's variety. There is variety. So, High Spirit London. Please, Black British Business, check yeah. them out. Next, we have the sliders from Dow London Fitness. I love these. They're so comfortable. Yeah. Literally, they're cushioned. Um, and they've got this kind of kente print. They're going for the African inspired look for fitness wear, so definitely check them out. A black British business as well. And yeah, they're just simplistic. Love them nice. very much. So we also got um passport covers. Oh yeah. Which was from um Bespoke Binny. And you know we'd be travelling, so this was perfect. Just whip that out like, mm-hmm, yeah, thank you. Uh-huh. I I love it. Yeah. I, I literally really love nice. it. Like, yeah. So she does loads of accessories as well as homeware and stuff like mm. that so if you're looking for all those kind of things you know i love a good head wrap you know you know so i've got one from grass fields um and i think it's like 20 pounds not too expensive hey i love it and so this is one they have a whole catalogue of head wraps so that's one mm. from them and i've got another head wrap another kente i um, love print. that one from Heritage Collection UK Black Owned. So if you're looking for options of where to buy head wraps, they are two um, London based companies that you can buy from. Mm -hmm. I've got this kind of pouch, I keep my jewellery in it, or you can keep makeup in it, and this is from Shea Butter Cottage. Yes. And they also do powders, oils, soap. And soap. So, so I've I got some, soap. oh you got, you've got soap. I've yeah, got um, African black soap from um, Shea Butter Cottage. Nice. I've got um, like henna, cassia, the herbs and oils from there as Ooh, well. Oh, they are good for all, for all of that. Yeah, That's good, well sourced to, ingredients. Like really good. Definitely a company to check out. Mm. So Shea Butter Cottage from the UK, big up yourself. Sticking with accessories, I have pins and some badges and some stick on badges, etc from Ibire Apparel, Ibire Apparel. Mm -hmm. um, and she does so many of these, like um, Unapologetically Me, Hella Black, Hella Proud, Beauty Isn't A Size. Mm. Like, she does so many different ones. And Jan has an example I got of how she's one used them. I made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's one I made earlier. So I got the Black Girl Magic, I've got the pins, and this is something I just thrifted and chucked the pins and stuff on. And you would get compliments on that. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, where did she get it from? And it's like, uh -huh. I made it. <laughs> Kind of. Sticking on the pin theme, I also have these pins from Spicy. Hold this one for me. Um, also have these pins from Spicy Stew. You've got um, the Kanga top here. You've got seasoning. I mean, I know what them call is, but you've got a little boss. But um, yeah, I've got these, and these are like things you can accessorize any dead denim stuff with or with your bags with. So mm. nice, cute little cultural pins as well. So we're going to kick it off with clothes now. Pow, 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 pow. 
So you know when you and your best friend have the same style and you just whip up the same top like <laughs> <laughs> different time, we did not buy this at the same time. Didn't buy it the same we did time. not plan this. Jay and bought it and I knew she bought but I thought it was I thought different. it was green for some reason. I don't know. And I saw it, I was like, oh I was like, Jay, I'm like, I bought this top. She was like, that's the top I have. I was like, Oh, it's so. a nice cap. Yeah, and I wore this for our end of year party, and then yeah, complimented me, and I was like, Grassfields, obviously. Of course, Grassfields. Um, Grassfields is just like the, hmm, just the staple shop. Like, yeah, and they have really great sales as well. You yeah. buy them themselves quite frequently. Yeah. Seeing as we're here on Grassfields, might as well talk about the other tops I have. Eh? Yeah. I've only got so, one more. She's got like this five is, hundred. Yeah. <laughs> this is a nice little crop top. Really, like I just I haven't actually worn this one yet. Listen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you're just like, nah, but I look too good in it. Like, you need to go somewhere good. Yeah, I don't deserve it. You need to go somewhere good, good to wear this. Mm. Um, and, you know, I'm a busty girl, so I love that their sizes are mm. on point, okay? They fit. That's over what I will say, boots, yeah. And they're just comfortable, so I love this top. And the one that we wore in Tobago, which again, you guys yep. saw, was this Please. one. So they're both off the shoulder. I really love this one. I and really, it's a really different do. style. It come with something different. You Gorgeous know? style that love is. Love it. Love, love, love. Nice little frilly top. Really nice. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Grassfield. So, um, I just like how, you know, it's like, okay, so if you're plus size or something, they have something for That's you. That's right. Grassfield all the way. They are literally my fave. So check them out. So we mentioned them earlier, which is Ibire Apparel. She does a lot of statement clothing. And mm -hmm. um, this one is dark skin, crossed out, light skin, crossed out, and melanin there. Mm -hmm. And I've also got one saying melanin goddess, mm. beauty is not a size. I've so, got one saying um, I am black history, and I got that one in a crop top as well. Oh, dope. Yeah. yeah. So if you want like statement jumpers, Ibire Apparel does a lot of those. Mm. And we mentioned them in terms of like the statement badges. They're really, really cool. I have this t-shirt that I absolutely love. Everyone asks you about this t-shirt every time you wear it. I love it. It's Where's it from? Adorned by Chi. Oh. She does all like this kind of geeky, nerdy like tops for black okay. women, women who are like quirky. She does stuff like um, um anime inspired, but more of a black twist kind mm. of stuff. So you always get complimented on that. I really love so. this t-shirt. It's one of my faves, and I will keep cherish it forever. I really yeah. do. I have this caftan um, piece from Shop Orchid and Spies from the US of A, mm. um, and I absolutely love this. And I have banging pictures in this from Tobago. Yes. Yes. In the water. Insert pic like a, right now. Looking like a goddess. Come through. I love the store as well because it's quite like bohemian, chic, feminine yeah. pieces that you know you think you have to go to the high street for but you can go to shop walking the spice and get those nice little pieces you know uh. really nice next thing i have is this bando top from knots and vibes and this is i wore this at carnival this is not wine and <laughs> wine and <laughs> literally that's what i was doing like, yeah 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 you made it that top made it in the papers oh. We well, haven't mentioned that for. I made it in the paper. <laughs> You're such an idiot. I can't. The top. <laughs> the top, yeah, yeah. The top made it in the paper. I didn't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> top is from a black owned British business, really inspired by the Caribbean and bashment culture. Oh, why not catch the way? Not catch. <laughs> Wait, if you know the story, but that's exactly what you were doing at the top. Like. <laughs> It's a story that you might not need to know. <laughs> but yeah, it's, the only thing is tied up at the back, so I kind of need to get someone to tie it. You know when your mum's like, what kind of little piece of thing is what's meant, What's this meant to cover? My nipple. <laughs> nice though. But it's hot. a nice... And again, you got so many compliments from that. So yeah, we choose things that we really get compliments from, man. So I've also got another caftan that I bought to Tobago from Rep Couture. I like this. And Jayan has a I have the swimsuit that you get from Rep Couture also. So they do lovely, lovely like summer wear. You yeah. On a holiday, holiday vibe. It's the Island Gyan collection. Yes, man. Come through. I love this piece yes. also because it has um, cowrie shells at the end of the shoe. Nice. A nice little touch. Yeah. Really nice. So next we have um, these crop tops from Rare Culture London. Tree has one and I have one. And we wore these in Tobago. We'll put a picture in here as well. Um, but yeah, I really like this. It's a statement yeah. t-shirt, black girl magic. That's all you need to know. Rare culture London, banging. Black owned British business. Don't ask no questions. It says it right on the top. I got underwear nice. from Nubian Skin. I'm just gonna hold up the bra. I can't bother to hold up everything. 
but I really love the lace. Yeah. I got it on sale. They had a 50% sale. So I just copped three yeah, shades. I, like I was it. like, well made, well made underwear, I think, from my un novice yeah. perspective. But I got the dark chocolate, cafe au lait and caramel. So cafe au lait I was wearing the other day, so yeah, yeah. But it's really, like it. really nice. The underwear, the knickers are like a French knicker kind of um, um, style. Yeah, you know, nah, I didn't show that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I really like it and I got it on sale. Cute. So I was really happy about actually finally getting some Nubian skin in my, my, un, my wardrobe. Cute. So I also, you know me and my swimwear from last year, you must know about me and my swimwear. It's really getting bad now. <laughs> no, I'm thinking like I got two more pieces. No, it is. This next piece I have from Ashanti Swimwear. This is love. I love this freaking piece. Yeah, that's it's gorgeous. Um, it's, and it's adjustable because you know with the side boob thing, sometimes they just make it like one mm. length and then it's hard. So now they've made it. This is adjustable, so it's really easy to um, adjust for your boobies. Um, but yeah, check them out. So I have next two swimsuits from La Joy Swimwear. You know them from last year. If you don't know them, go watch our last video. But this is the same company that made the black own um, the black um, sexy piece. Oh yeah. Yeah. So this is the bikini they have, and I love the material they make it out of. It's so comfortable against your skin. Oh. I really love it. Why so I got I? two two of them. This one's more like a sports bra. This one's actually more like a bikini top. Um, they've got the high waisted pants. Nice. Um, Black British business as well. I like really, it. really enjoyed like those. It. Our insert pictures as well. Last but not least, is, I know this is black owned. Yes, nice. Is this? Ah, oh, I love this too. Um, this bikini from um, Blue. I love the way the pants fit. The pants have got like this kind of this nice sexy cut me love. And um, the bra is um, just more like a sports bra top, but kind of nice. I think I want to get a bigger size for myself, but yeah, it's nice. Um, nice. So yeah, Black British owned business and that's Blue. it for swimwear. So next we're on to hair care. And first things first, we have this little set from Biokari. Mm. And basically it's for you to be able to make your own products, which I think is so dope. So literally inside they have um, the containers and all the products here for you already. So there's some shea butter and all your essential oils. Um, that's up in here, so almond oil, they have grapefruit oil, and you can get different, you can get different sets, so yeah. to speak, of what kind of products you want. And I think this is so dope, so if you're into the whole DIY thing at home, definitely check out Biokari um, to get your hair popping. You know when we saw the bit whisk, we were both like, oh, It's a really good idea, I think it's, really and good the idea. fact that you can buy whatever you want. Yeah. Black British Black business. Black British. Yeah. Black British business. Yeah. Um, so next we can talk about oh. Myel. Um, we received these products in the Treasure Trust box, um, which is a black owned subscription box for natural hair care. Um, and this is a black owned product from America. Um, you probably heard of Myel. Um, if you haven't, it's a black owned product and they also do like hair growth vitamins and stuff like that. But I really like the pre-shampoo treatment. Smells good. Yeah, smells. I have good. the hydration, a hydrating conditioner, mm. and it smells amazing. I love it. I really do. Really, really cool. If you're me. simple, natural is their slogan. So I think that, that's literally true. To yeah. be fair. So yeah, that's one fave that I've been enjoying as a brand this year. Nice. Um, next, I'm going to talk about MS Hair. Um, so I feel like they have literally just changed the hair game really and truly with their product. Because if you have thin and edges thinning edges, balding, or even if you just want your edges to have a little top up. They have a really, really dope product which just consists of this little um, comb here that you place on your edges and then you just use their little um, hair fibres in the little bottle to just pump away. It's natural, mm. again, in terms of the ingredients because this is what we care about now, like what we're putting yeah. on our skin and in our hair. Um, and it's just um, natural fibres, you can get them in an array of colours. So dark brown, black, even mm. blonde, grey, okay. um, to suit your hair mm. tone, That's really good. Um, colour. Um, and it just fills in the it fills in the edges and fills in the gaps. So I've got a video on our channel that I'm sure you would have seen already. But I think this is a really good product. Sorry to interrupt. You have a setting spray as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and, and then you, you set it and it will actually last like a good while, mm. you know, as long as you're not rubbing it there. It doesn't leave stains, it's sweat proof. So I think this is a really good product and it's mm. not that expensive. And I'm sure like when sales happen, Black Friday, Christmas stuff, 
they always have sales as well. Yeah. So I think they have a sale on at the moment, New Year. I think there's a sale on. So definitely check out Emma Care because mm-hmm. I think they're dope black owned British brands that are just making an impact. That's good. Um, next, I would like to talk about Yakko Beauty. I should have actually talked about them last year, but I didn't. Oh. I've been using them for years now, at least two years, and mm. I really love... I really like their packaging, for one. The packaging is lovely, yeah. and I really love their... just. It's like a simple range. These are the two products in the range, and sometimes you don't need to overdo it. You know, when you have the product that works, it just works. It works, yeah. So I like the two creams. They're really good at locking in moisture. Actually, these are the same thing. My bad, I bought two of the same one. But um, they're really good at locking in moisture. How do you have two of the same one, and they're both like... Because I use it. <laughs> I got this and then it has like avocado oil, macadamia, all the natural ingredients as well that I like and it's just a really well made black British owned product. Um, speaking of UK black owned um, businesses, um, Afrocentric. Yes. They held a special place in our heart. They've done so well. I think we mentioned them last year. I'm not sure. But anyway, Maybe. even if we didn't, um, Afrocentric. And we wanted to give them a special shout out because they are now available worldwide in Whole Foods mm. because their their ingredients, the ingredients they use are so natural and everything. They are actually featured in Whole Foods as well, which I think is incredible. That's a great like, feat. You know, when you actually take really, it in, take it in of like how much they've achieved for a black owned British company, two women just killing it. Like, come on. And we've also mm-hmm. got this little bonnet from them as well, which has like a silk um, or satin, sorry, lining um, for when you're sleeping, etc. Or even deep conditioning. This is so dope. Mm-hmm. So Afrocentric is a really, really good brand and perfect for type four kinkier textures yes. as well. They really, really take that seriously and take that into consideration with products that they're making and stuff mm. like that. So um, they really care. You know, we have a brand that really no, cares. they do care. Like, they really do. We know both of the owners. And yeah. It's just they, it comes through their passion. Yeah. Their yeah. drive. It's very good. Definitely. For me is Trepadora. I really, really, really like Trepadora. We've worked from the, we worked with them a while ago, but then we worked with them again this year in Tobago. Mm. And they have this little travel set of products. That's cute. And I like the clay. I think the clay is my favourite product in that brand. Yeah. Um, just so nice. But they, I really like the way their products are formulated, what they use in them. And, but um, I really like what they have. It's like a lot of their products are at least in a 90% something naturally derived. So for instance, this is 96% naturally derived. So I love their products, their range. Really, really well done. Thank you Trepadora for this kit. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> so next, <laughs> um, British black owned business, Flora and Curl. Um, they launched this, they launched 2017, yes. which I think is so dope. And their whole thing is about botanical hair care, mm. which is friggin' dope. So it's definitely like a smell of like, if you if you don't like all the kind of floral smells, then I get it. Mm-hmm. But if you do, it's a nice this range is for you. a very, very nice range for you. So in my hand, I have the hair mist, but they've also got like oils. They have a shampoo now, which I think is dope. A clay And as they well. have a clay and they have a butter. Mm-hmm. And I actually really like the butter. Again, for my hair texture, it was perfect. So I think it was really, really well made. Mm. And I know that we've spoken to her and she spent like so long, like obviously trying to yes. formulate these products. And I thought it was really good. Wicked. Nice. Laura and Carol. Um, next, I have my Fluffy Pass, who we've worked with this year, if you've been paying attention to our channel. Um, this is an American black owned business and I just love the owner. She is so, yeah. so supportive. Really supportive. I was going to say really supportive. She is so supportive and I love her products. Like it's just, this is really good for twist outs. I've done twist outs, it was so, mm. so shiny. Um, and also the um, other product that she has that I used and the soap bar that I used as well in that mm. video. Everything in that video I really loved. Um, so I think that it's a great product, great brand, American brand that's doing a lot of natural stuff in here as well. It's got biotin, which is great for your hair too. Um, so yeah, my fluffy puffs, really love her too. So next in the hair category, we have a hair steamer. What? By Curls and Co. What? Listen, hydration steamer. Look how big this box is. Mm-mm. This is insane. And I feel like this is another thing that has literally just changed the hair game. Yep. And I think this is so dope. Mm-hmm. And Healthy, it's a face steamer as well. Hydrated hair and a face one that you use on your come on black owned black owned uk what a fantastic gift what a fantastic gift you know you you know someone who's got natural hair or even if they don't um it says bring your curls back to life with our hydrate with our hydration steamer 
Yes, yes, and yes. This is dope. Curls and Co. Mm-hmm. Um, you can grab yourself a steamer. Like a steamer. Actually just chill. That's mad. Put your feet up. Watch TV. Make sure your hair's popping. Netflix and steam. Like your deep conditioner on. Let that penetrate and marinate. And you're, you're good. <laughs> like, that's so. amazing. That is an amazing... That's one of the big, the big things of 2017. Come on. This is probably like... One of my favourite things Literally. in the hair category, definitely. Look at the smart angle. And it's just steam. It's like, just easy to use. Just put Literally. in water. Hello? 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 So I think that is so dope. I'm so really definitely dope. check out Curls & Co. To get yourself your own home steamer, girl. Your own home steamer. That is sick. That is sick. So next we're going to move on to skincare. Um, so, you know, getting our skin popping and flossing. So we have to start with Ivy Rock. So they launched here in the UK uh, um, later in 2017, mm-hmm. and we presented. We hosted the launch. You know. Um, so it's a Jamaican-owned brand. Mm-hmm. Um, but have they? So where else have they launched? London, but yeah, I don't. It was in Pax. I don't know if it's worldwide in Pax. Oh, okay. Well, Impact, in Pax, but they're in Pax. Pax. That's where you are able to get them from. It's mm-hmm. in the UK. So which I think is super super dope as well. Mm-hmm. So we have so I've got like their body scrub and their body lotion. Mm. Jay's got I've got the deep pore deep pore facial cleanser which I use in my black owned skincare over um, video as well. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. That's yeah. true. What um, I'm really hoping like people see in this video is that you can get like staple things, basic things that you would want to buy from black owned companies. Like it's out there, guys. Like, it's, it's literally here. Out there. So next we're going to move on to Born Beautiful Naturals, which is, well, she's Jamaican, but she lived in America and now she's here in the UK. Yeah. <laughs> but um, a hair and beauty natural skin, um, natural products. Um, what I particularly like of the range is the lavender, how do you say it? Lavender Refreshment Toner, mm, which is so good. Also featured in my black owned um, skincare routine. Yeah. I've got here the um, shower gel, which has glitter in it, if you can. Oh, yeah. Really, smell it, smell it, smell it. You gotta smell it. That's amazing. Wow. Vanilla. So I got um, their face clay, which contains goat's milk in it, and I also got their deep conditioner for my hair. Amazing. I also did a video for this. Yeah, you yeah, did, did. Yeah, it's really good. Like honestly, I was re- you know when you're just kind of like, oh, <laughs> take I'm back. Sorry, Literally. like yeah, come through. Um, and I know that she's still like developing stuff, mm-hmm. but trust me, this is rinsed out because of how much I love yeah. the smell, and this is rinsed out because how good it is for the skin. It's really good. I can't wait to see what this year has. Like, yes, in, in store. store. This yeah, year definitely. She's really, really cool. So, short so. shout out to um, Born Beautiful Naturals. Link yes. will be in the description box below. I have this oil, Shaoshani oil. I've been using this for a good couple of years now. Um, it's a scar oil, scar repair oil. It's got lots of stuff that, of oils that's good for your skin, like olive oil, sunflower, rosemary, lavender, all of that stuff. Um, so, yeah, this is a really good oil that I love. So, um, sticking with face, I've got this facial oil, um, and this is from the Afro Hair and Skin Co. Mm. They also do hair stuff, but I particularly like their skin facial stuff. So, mm. um, this is one of my favorites. This is the only thing I use in terms of oils on my. It's called Flow. So, um, her facial oil is called Flow, if you're interested. What I have next is aloe vera and seaweed gel from Ooh. Pure Goodness. I really, really love this. It's what like. Pure goodness. Mm. You know they're always at the yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. So they always do they're always at the natural hair events or the black owned business events and they do lots of nice. um cosmetic That's yeah so dope. antioxidants in that gel are really nice. good for your skin, keeps it like supple, plump, really nice. I might need this for when I go away. I've got this and um this is also part of my skincare routine if you've watched the video. But yeah, that's one of my favourite products of 2017. Nice. Um so let's move on to makeup. Makeup! So on my lips right now. Oh Beauty Beholders, who we worked with this year. Um black owned business mm. from US. UK. UK UK come through. But it's super super cute. I'm currently wearing Savage. Um yeah, I really I like their colours. I really like their colours. I think it's very suiting for our complexion. Yes, they're black like women. Like I yeah, love it, love it, love it, love it. So next we have oh, hold on. Miss Hamini. We have House of Uni. We've worked with them this year as well. Really, really, really love the variety in this business. Uh, US black owned business inspired by the Caribbean. 
Um, and my favourite colour that we have is Tobago. I think mm. you guys should know that by you now. You should know that by now. <laughs> it doesn't come off. It literally doesn't come off. It's dope. No, that's it's dope. so nice. Um, but they have such a variety of colours. We've got a couple of videos that we've done with them on social media. I'll probably post them on YouTube. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so you can see like our swatches of these lipsticks. But beautiful. They've got liquid and they've got um, normal stick lipsticks. Um, so they've got a variety there, which I really love. Um, so next we've got a lipstick from MDM Flow, who is made by Helen Florence. Um, but the company is called MDM Flow. And we actually got these lipsticks made right in front of us. That was so cool. Which was so dope. Like we actually got to see the process of like how she makes them mm. and everything. And she lit... Uh, <laughs> when she literally made them in front of us, which was really cool. And she was such a lovely woman. Um, so yeah. British black owned lipstick in top shop. Um, really Doing nice packaging. Things, yeah. She also has liquid to matte lipsticks, I believe, now as well. Love that. Yeah, I think that's super super dope. So, so I think that brings us to a close. That was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot of things. I didn't think we'd have as much, but we do have a lot. And it's so funny because I'm like, oh, but we worked with so many brands in 2016. How many more brands can we work with in 2017? Well, we did it. Literally, we worked yes, with so yes, many. Yes. And honestly, it makes us so happy to do this video. Just so you it's guys so know, fun. there are so many amazing black owned businesses for you mm -hmm. to be buying from, supporting, you know, go and watch our um, video from 2016 because we have even more black owned businesses there. So if there's anyone that's ever looking for black owned businesses or say that they struggle, please recommend this video. Yeah, please share it, like it, it and so the much. previous one. If you're looking for like a Christmas list or a birthday present, these, these videos are just there for you today. Definitely. So if you are a black owned business and you're thinking, my product should be featured in that video, Ooh. then hit us up on our email, whatever, DM, just come through, slide in, mm -hmm. um, because we would love to feature you guys in our next video. So yes, everybody, happy, happy new, year. new year. And we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video for us. Take care. Mm -hmm.